Monday lunchtime live. Just making sure we are live. Um, all right, let's get stuck into what's happened over the weekend and what's coming up in the coming week. Uh, those of us who love a bit of door slamming action, PDRA was drag fest, drag fest on the weekend. Um, drag stock, sorry. Uh, awesome, awesome racing over there. And I'll jump a little bit ahead. Um, on Friday, we hope to have a very special guest, uh, an Aussie guest. Uh, but a, a special guest, uh, an Australian racer, who may or may not have been over there to give us a bit of a fill-in on how that looked. Um, but yeah, PDR Racing Door Slammer was awesome. Um, you know, side-by-side 350s and 360s over the 8th at 210 plus miles an hour. So some very exciting stuff at the brand new Galat Motorsport Park. Um, Sydney, of course, had the nostalgia round of the some nitro cars there and all of the older stuff for a little bit of nostalgic excitement, I guess, for, for those of us who have got a few years on us. Um, and of course the Cowan Berserk altered slash hot rod uh, made its first five second nitro pass. So there was a lot of excitement around that. And congratulations to Graham and all the, all the team at Aeroflow and, and Rocket. Um, coming up this weekend, of course, we've got the Sandown 500 ADRP Rockstar display, uh, very well represented across Group 1 categories and some Group 2 categories, a little bit of APSA there, uh, I think we want to have had some Group 3 stuff as well, so hopefully we can bring drag racing to another new audience, uh, convert some roundy roundy guys, not saying that there's anything wrong with their sport, just getting them to come and have a look at the most powerful motorsport on the planet and continue to make drag racing great again. Um, all, and thanks, of course. Thank you, Nicole. Thanks, of course, to the guys over at the Andra office. We'll have plenty of these for the guys to hand out and the fast lane. So giving, giving some tangibility to uh, what we're saying to people about coming check out our sport. So again, grateful, very grateful to... Um, the Andra office and Jennifer Harrison and Timmy Baker, Timmy Baker uh, for helping us out. So thank you. Um, Sydney Dragway board meeting tonight. Um, will be very interesting to see what comes out of that. Uh, there's been a lot of movement. Uh, of course, we saw the announcement six or so weeks ago now that IHRA were investing into Australia, um, with Perth, of course, and the Miosevic family moving out. There was a void there. Uh, we haven't really had much information since as to exactly what the logistics are and how this is going to work. Um, I believe there'll be some discussion held at a board level tonight about that and probably at the members' meeting tomorrow night. So uh, by Wednesday, we may well have a little clearer idea on what's happening with regard to the Sydney office of IHRA, who the IHRA uh, CEO or MD is going to be, in fact, the staffing there, um, and where Sydney are going as far as, at the moment, of course, we all know they're dual sanctioned with some Andrew meetings and some IHRA. So there could be word out uh, in the next few days about that. Um, as I said, I've, I've touched on Friday. Our, our next live, we'll have, we'll have a special guest. I can't say much more at the moment, but um, should tune in, guys. There'll be some very interesting insight into doored cars, supercharged cars, uh, and a little bit of uh, what's happening with this particular racer in the future in this country. Uh, on the screen behind me, you'll obviously see the Aussie contingent over at Drag Week this week for the Hot Rod magazine. Um, great effort by Scotty from Street Machine. He's over there with his new Facebook Live camera, so he's giving us a fair amount of streaming, touching on the Aussie stuff. Um, we'll all be tuning into the actual, real, the genuine live feed or the official live feed. Scott's stuff's great for for exactly what it is: social media, a little bit of here, a little bit of there, the behind the scenes the intimate, up close and personal stuff that Scott's so good at. Um, but obviously we'll all be watching the, the official streaming so that we can keep an eye on how the guys go at their, at their first attempt. Uh, I think there's quite a few Aussies over there. So that should be very interesting. 
Um, I think that's about it from me today. We uh, haven't got a lot to talk about, sadly. Um, we're all waiting for drag racing to, to kick its head off in Australia again. Um, with obviously the... Uh, we've had a little bit of start from a the Andrew up series up at Darwin and then Alice Springs. Uh, 400 Thunder yet to kick off, but we'll be doing so on the weekend of the 1st of October. Uh, Pro Stock and Pro Stock Bike up north with, uh, I think, just re lately released four door slammers putting on a bit of a demonstration. So that should give the crowd something to look at. Uh, and then, of course, the actual real big kickoff of the East Coast Thunder, as it's now known, uh, on the November 4-5 four, four, weekend. So, again, like we always talk about, any questions you guys have got, anything you think we should be touching on, to make drag racing great again in Australia, please don't be shy. Send us an email, send us a Facebook message uh, to either the page or Nicole or myself. Um, Nicole, specifically, any social media questions you guys have got. I uh, know she's working on a, a video she's going to do shortly, I think, around email addresses and talk to you guys a little bit about that. So, again, just all the little things we can do, the one percenters, to bring the sport into a more professional standing. Thanks so much, guys. Uh, take care out there and make sure you go fast and go safe. Ciao.